today's word is explain. Explain. There it is. Explain. So two claps. Explain. Explain. So we're going to do some explaining and give good explanations, which is a really long word. Explanations. OK, so what is explain then? Let's have an action for it. Understand well. So point to your head and the thumbs up. So you're helping somebody else understand well. So when you explain, you're helping another person, the person you're talking to, understand well. So that's why we've got that action. Explain. OK, so let's have a look at the poster. So when we explain, we're helping the person we're talking to understand something, understand why we did something, what's happened, what something's about, what something means. We're explaining and helping them understand. And we've got to do that by giving more information and sometimes giving reasons, saying because and telling them why we did it. OK, so there's loads of things we can explain and there's a few ideas here, but you'll be able to think of loads more. So to start with, one of the things we have to explain sometimes is what words mean. Or well, we don't know, we ask someone else to explain it to us. So maybe your friend at school's just read something in a book and they say, hey, what does it disgusting mean? They're asking you to explain what disgusting means. So you could say disgusting means horrid, yuck. Um, you might get asked to explain what you like best about the summer holidays. You might say you love um, being able to go to the beach a lot and spend all day there. You love being able to stay up a little bit later at night. You love being on holiday with your family. You're giving your reasons in your explanation for why you what you like best. OK, you might be asked to explain what you'd like to do when you're older and you might say, I'd like to fly aeroplanes, I'd like to be a pilot. So you've given, you've said what you'd like to do, you're helping them understand and you're saying why? Because you think it would be really fun to fly to lots of different countries and see lots of different countries. You'd love to go up in the sky that high and you'd love to go that fast. So you've given them lots of information to help them understand why you want to be a pilot, okay? Sometimes we have to explain how. So maybe um, somebody has never played What's the Time, Mr Wolf, before and they ask you, how do you play that game? And you will explain it to them so that they can understand what they need to do, understand how to play the rules. You're going to give them more information. You stand here, you wait here. When you do this, you do this. So you're explaining to them so they can play it. So you could think of a game to explain to someone in your family. Maybe they don't know how to play it yet something you do at school and you could explain to them how to play it. So that's a good one. One of the times we have to do quite a lot of explaining is when we've broken things or something's gone a bit wrong. So I don't know if you can see properly on this phone. Can you see how cracked it is in that corner? So I'm going to explain to you how it got broken. I dropped it in a car park and it fell on the hard concrete floor and it smashed. So I've helped you understand how my phone got broken. I gave you more information about it. OK, sometimes as well, we have to explain what's happened. So we might get asked at school to explain what happened in our holidays or at the weekend. Um, if we've if our friend has missed a TV programme or our mum had to go to the loo or something like that and she comes back and she says can you explain to me what's just happened what have i just missed we have to give more information we have to say what it was that just happened so that they know what happened they can catch up um, if you've hurt yourself your grown-up or your teacher will say to you oh explain what happened how did you hurt yourself and then you say you might say oh i tripped over on the playground and fell over and somebody stumped on it by accident. So that's your explaining. You give an information to explain how you hurt your finger. OK, and we have to do quite a lot of explaining at school sometimes with our topic work, for example. So it might be, can you explain what happened to the Titanic? Can you give more information about it? And can you give the reasons? They didn't see the iceberg in time. So that's why it's, it hit the iceberg and then it sank. OK, or what happened in the fire of London? Um, and then explain why. 
that happens quite a lot too. So it might be explain why you like something or why you don't like something. So maybe could you explain to me why you like football? Help me understand why you like football. Tell me about it. Tell me your reasons. Is it because you love being with your friends? You love the feeling when you get to score a goal? What is it? Um, I could say to you, hey, why are you wearing fancy dress today? And you could explain to me, you could help me understand why. You could say, I've just felt like it. Or you could say, I'm doing Joe Wicks PE and it's dress up day. Or you could say, it's because it's World Book Day. Or because it's my birthday, I'm going to a party, something like that. And then you can explain maybe why you chose a book. So if you chose a book from the library or you chose a book for a bedtime story, someone to read to you, you could explain why you chose it. So I've got a book that I chose. I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to give you my explanation, explanation of why I chose this book. So I've chosen Oi Frog to show with you today because... I think it's a really funny story. I love the rhyme in it. I think the rhyme's really clever and really funny. And I love the pictures. I love this frog. I think he's brilliant. And I really love the cat character who's a bit miserable and grumpy. And look at that picture, it's brilliant. And I find it a really funny book. I think it's really well written, beautiful pictures. So that's helping you understand why I like this book so much. So there's loads of things to explain. Please get explaining and I will see you again another time. Bye for now.